Multiply 60 times 2. So, of course, first we draw our horizontal line. And as I said, you can just label this point, label this point as A. Then you go for your compass to construct your 60 degree angle. And what you're going to then do now is you open your compass. Now let's move the compass first to the point A. Then you open your compass from A. And you construct your 60 degree angle by then swinging an arc from A. This point of intersection, we go over right here. Of course, you'd have labeled it as X and then swing your arc from X using the same degree of swing from A. That now construct your 60 degree. So just to label them, it's always good when we drop in our labels. So we label that point as X, all right? Then we draw our straight line from A, passing through the point of intersection of swings. And you're gonna then label that point as Y. Label this point now as Y. After you label this point now as Y, what you're going to then do now is you're gonna move your compass and you're gonna move your compass to Y. So let's move our compass. Moving up, moving up, move our compass to Y. After we move our compass to Y, okay, I'm having some technical difficulties. Move our compass to Y, okay, I can't see it to swing it. So what I'm gonna do is rotate it just a little bit and then move it up to Y so that I'm able to swing. So you move your compass to Y and then you're gonna swing an arc from Y. So you're gonna swing an arc from Y somewhere around here. So you swing an arc from Y, swing an arc around here. After we swing an arc from around here from Y, what you're going to then do is move your compass back to A Move your compass back to A, and using that same degree of swing, you're going to swing an arc from A. Swing an arc from A, all right? And then you, of course, put away your compass just for a sec, and then you're gonna construct a line from A, passing through those intersections, passing through the intersection of the two swings. So after you do that now, you can label that point as, I don't know, maybe you want to label it as, since we use A, X, and Y, let's call that point P. Let's call that point P. This is the point P. Now all of this angle right here is going to be 120 degrees. All of that angle right here is 120. So finally, we know that, of course, angle, we can call that PAX is equal to 120. That's how we construct our 120 degree angle. Nice and easy, soft. And if you don't believe that is 120, as I said, don't take my word for it. You go for your protractor just to see. If I am correct, you go for your protractor, you move it down to A, you measure the angle, and look right there, exactly 120. Blows and skirt were nice. We are extremely nice. And so look at that, box cover were nice, man. We're good. Since we're good, that's how you construct 120. 20 degree angles, nice, soft.